What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to get any one of these six brand new and super rare double beer can hats in GTA Online. This item is quite literally the rarest item in GTA Online because it's only available during the Independence Day special update, which should last until around mid-July, and it can only be obtained through rare special crate drops. I'll be showing you how to maximize your chances at getting one of these elusive and highly sought after hats. There's two ways to go about trying to get these super rare hats. The easier way with friends or the way of joining random public lobbies which forces you to fight for your prize engaging in an all out brawl that may make you lose hope in humanity. The choice is up to you but I'm going to be going over both. First up, crate drops are allegedly unlocked at rank 12. For me at least, I didn't unlock them until I did Ron's mission base invaders and I was already way over level 100 at that point. A good way to check if you have them unlocked is to go to your menu on GTA Online and go to unlocks and see if the crate drops are unlocked. Starting off with the easier friends way, you're going to want to start a private invite only session and invite three of your friends. To start a private session, you will have to go to single player, hit start, go to online, play GTA Online, and go to invite only. Crate drops and especially special crate drops don't seem to occur when you're solo, but having at least four players in a lobby usually is enough to trigger it. From here, either choose which one of you is going to get the crate or agree that it's going to be a free for all. No seriously, decide on this because these hats can ruin friendships. Once that's all good, you really just have to wait. There doesn't seem to be anything to get the special crate to spawn faster, but some have suggested doing gang attacks, calling for Meriwether at ammo drops, doing simian car missions, stealing armor trucks, robbing stores, and even assassinating targets for Lester. Now, you'll know when the special crate is going to spawn because a message will appear on the left-hand side that says that the special crate will drop in 10 hours. Because in GTA 5, one hour in-game time is two minutes in real life, the 10 hours for the crate to drop means that it'll drop in 20 minutes. I'd say if you could, it would be nice if you could set a timer on your phone so you know if it's bugged or not. The special message should appear again in the same spot at 5 hours and 3 hours as well. Now here's where things can get really bugged. Once you see the green circle on the map, do not even think about going near it at all. And if for some reason you're close to it, don't shoot the NPCs guarding the crate before it drops because it will no longer drop at that point. Make sure that you and your friends stay a really good distance away from it because you're going to want to wait until you see the box with the question mark on the map. At that point you can go towards the crate, kill the guards, shoot the crate, and grab your reward. There are 6 different styles of the double beer can hat and there is also chance that you can get the Statue of Happiness t-shirt instead of the hats which would totally suck but it's still kind of rare. Now if you're a real warrior and choose method 2, you better have a lot of patience, shooting ability, and be really lucky. For this one, you're going to want to find a session, check the map, and see if there is a green circle on it, and that'll indicate that a crate drop is incoming. If it is, wait around it in a buzzard or jet, killing anyone who comes near it, and hopefully it will spawn. So that means you should have your location set on spawning in the last location and be near the airport or the Meriwether dock to grab a buzzard, or even near the military base to get a jet. If you go into a lobby and there isn't already a crate, be sure to wait 5-10 to 10 minutes and see if the special crate drop text comes up. If it does, wait the time and follow the steps from before. If it doesn't, find a new session and repeat the process. Odds are you will get into a lobby that's on a special crate time trigger. The part that sucks about this is that people in public lobbies will often run into the zone before the crate drops and it'll glitch out so it doesn't drop at all and there is really no way to stop them so you need a bit of luck as well or hope they haven't unlocked crates yet. Also allegedly, it spawns every 1 hour in real time but that seems pretty hearsay. Anyway, I was going to post this video a few days ago, but I actually wanted to get the hat myself and find out the best legit method to get it. After two bugged special crate drops, I finally got it and I got the Patriot double beer can hat. I was very excited to say the least. <laughs> Patriot beer hat! I got it! I got it! I got it! Yes! I fucking got it! Woo! I can't believe it. With that being said, I want to know what do you think of the double beer can hat and its rarity? Be sure to leave a comment below. Personally, I love the rarity and even the difficulty to get it, but at least fix all the bugs revolving around the crate drops because it can really become really, really frustrating when you finally get a special crate message and it doesn't ever actually spawn. As always, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to press that like button and also be sure to subscribe for more daily top-notch GTA 5 videos. Also, you should definitely check out my Twitter because this is where I was telling people that I was hunting for the double beer can hat and I was actually live streaming it on twitch.tv slash typical gamer and a great way to know that would be on Twitter. You would see that or you could follow me on twitch.tv slash typical gamer. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.